Hello, uh, me again. We're going to be doing the Junior Math Challenge 2024, speed running it, trying to get, uh, I mean, as close to 100%. Uh, I don't think I've actually managed to get 100% in any of these at any point, um, but trying to do as much as I can in an hour, also because it's fun. Um, need to set up the timer and then I'll be back. Okay, we have timer. We're just going to go for it. So, uh, okay, here we go. Do, do, do. Other five expressions, which, how many, oh, pen, how many different values have obtained? Four, four, zero, one, four, one, two, three different values. What following can have a capacity of 10 liters? No, no, no. What's a dust? How are kids meant to know what a dustpan is? That's a crazy question. No. Uh, 36, what year will her age next be a square? So when she's 49, which is in 13 years, so not this one, 13 years time will be then. Yeah, 12 years time, 48, sometime in that year. Do, do, do. A drink is maybe makes a one part quadrille, what percentage? Oh, this is so easy, this is so nice. One to four, 20%. What's the value of this? Okay, that's one, this is 12. Left to right, 12 divided by 5, 2.4. So it's 3 minus 2.4 is 0.6. What's following the same remainder when divided by 3 is it done divided by 4? Divided by, no. Uh, no, it basically needs to be one more than 12 or a factor of 12. So it's this. Yeah, one more than a factor of 12, which is 24. When you divide by 3, you get a remainder of 1. When you divide by 4, you get a remainder of 1. Good. Um, that's a nice question for, yeah, it's nice. Triangle shows a large square divided into four smaller squares. Also the diagonals, what fraction of the area of the large square is being shaded? Okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of four uh, times four, 16, which is three out of eight. We're speeding. This guy has half as many pairs, and to be fair, it's because it is easy. Or not true, but I'm a math teacher. Uh, okay. Sky has half as many pens, so Sky has half as many pens, half X. This is Aisha, Aisha has X. Anna has twice as many pens as Sky. What? Okay, so Anna also has this amount. What fraction does Sky have? Well, it's just one to two to two, so it's one out of five. Um, yeah, one five, one out of five. The diagram shows this. What's the angle of U, P, T? This angle of U, P, T, this one. Okay, so in a hexagon, it is 720. In a hexagon, divide that by one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, yeah, six is 120. So this is 120, do, do, do. And there's an isosceles, these add up to 60, so these are 30, very nice. In Fred's field, there are some humans and some horses. 25 heads, 60 legs. Okay, uh, 25 heads, 60 legs. Humans, horses. So, uh, the ratio is one to four of heads to legs. There's definitely an easy way to do this. Wait, what's the easy way to do this? Okay, a horse is one head and four legs. A human is a head and uh, two legs. Oh my God, humans have two legs. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, uh, 10. Uh, if there's 10, that makes 40. What's the difference? Okay, now, some amount of x plus 4y plus some amount of x plus 2y. mx plus 4. What the heck am I doing? 
So this makes 25 heads and 60 legs. What on earth am I doing? M plus N <laughs> equals 25. 4 M plus 2 N equals to 60. Seriously, what on earth am I doing? So 2 M plus 2 N equals to 50. So 2 M equals to uh, 10. So M equals to 5. What was M? Horses. So if there's five horses, that means five horses. So that means five heads. So five times four is 20. And then 20 times two is 40. Uh, uh, God, that must have been a better way to do that. That took ages. There's five horses, which means there's 20. So there's 15 difference. Whoa, what the heck did I do there? That was a ridiculous way of doing that question. Um, anyway, we're speeding. The side length of the largest equilateral. The side length of the largest equilateral is 10. 10. 10. Um, what's the perimeter of the hexagon? Okay, so this is A. This is B. Uh, oh, this is cool. This is A. This is A. This is B. This is B. Now, A plus B equals to 10 and the perimeter is 20 plus 2 A's plus 2 B's so it's 20 plus 2 lots of A plus B so it's 20 plus 20 which is 40 how cool is that that's a nice question because you put that in there I like that uh, Y represents the same digit every time okay now basically has to be a 0 or a 5 because everything yeah 0 or 5 um, could it be a 5? Could it be a 0? No, can't be a 0, can't be a 5. Oh no, wait, it could be a 6. Can't be a 4. Oh, it could also be a 1. Oh my god, what am I doing? Uh, let's try 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 3. Wait, how am I... How am I doing this? Uh, in a way that's clever? I don't know. Let's just do 411 times 31. Sometimes it's about speed. 1, 1, 4, 0, 3, 3, 12, 1, 2, 7, 4, 1. Okay, definitely not 1. Let's do 6. Uh, let's do 5, because it's fun. 455 5, 5, times 35. 5 and 2, 5 to 5 is 20, oh, it looks like this, 5 to 5 is 25, add 2 is 27, 5 times 4 is 20, add 2 is 22, 3 times 5 is 15, 3 times 5 is 15, so that becomes 16, 3 times 12, that's 13, 5, 2, no, this is also wrong. Okay, it's not 1, it's not 0, it's not 5, it can't be 4 anyway, because 4 times 4 ends at a 6, so it's 6, don't need to work it out. Feel like there's a better way to do it, but whatever, we're speeding. Um, okay. In point, okay, the point S is on the edge. Okay, so A, A, B, B, B. So that is 180 minus A. Uh, what's the value of X? Okay, so A plus 3B equals 180. And 2A plus B equals 180. Wait, what? Is that right? So, 2a plus 6b equals to 360. So 5b equals 180. So b equals 36. What am I trying to find? Okay, uh, I feel like there was a better way to do that, but whatever. Take a correct, which we can't really after the sign. Ooh. Um, It's like, okay, let's just play around with it. 12, 
divided by 3. No. Okay, let's think what can't be places. We need to enter the one digit number. So 85, no, 58, no. 32, ooh, here we go. 32 divided by 8 is 4, and 1 is 5. Nice. Um, after the digit sign is 8. I'll change color. I don't know, PQR is a rhombus. A PQT is an isosceles triangle. Okay, so this is 70. What are we trying to find? SQT. That's 70, so that's 70, so that's 70, so that's, um, this is also 70, so this is also 70. Um, what I'm trying to find? S SQT. Wait, what? SQT. SQT. What? This angle here? What? Wait. This angle here? That's weird, isn't it? Okay, well, that's 70, that's 70. It's this guy's 40. Um. That's 110. What? Okay, one sec. Oh, it's a rhombus. So that's also 70. So that's also 40. Um, that's 70. And that's 70. That's also 40. So that's also 70. No, I've got 180. That's hilarious. That's so bad. That's obviously not 70. Wait. What? Uh, okay, if that's 40, that's... I don't know if that's 40. Wait, I'm being I'm being very silly here. I'm I'm being very silly. I'm gonna draw again. Rhombus. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. That's 110. That is 70. That is 70. That is 40. This is 70. So this is also 70. So this is a nice osteo triangle. Uh, this is 70. This is 70. This is 40. Now we need to find the angle there. What? It's 110. <sighs> what? It's just half of the angle in the room. Is it always? No, it's not. This is a nice hostage triangle. Is it? How many questions are there? 25. What? Um, I feel like I'm missing something very silly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. These links are all the same. This nice hostage trapezium.
Why would this even help us? This bit up here. I mean, a plus b has to equal to 70. And I don't know. I'm leaving it. Come back to you. One meter long. Okay, seven point seven millimeters is approximately seven. Oh no, one meter, approximately a hundred thousand millimeters. So doing a thousand divided by seven point seven. So that's zero. That is one remainder. Uh, wait, let's do eight. One remainder two. That, that's two remainder four. Well, that's five. And it's a bit more than five. Okay. Oh, oh, I've seen this before. This always cuts it in half. This is. These are all halves all halves. Okay, the whole thing's a 100. QRT, that's 24. It's all, it's all halves, PTS. The whole thing's 100, so it's 10 by 10, which I don't think matters. ORT is the triangle, has over 2.4, so 10 times a over 2 equals 24, 4.8, this is 5.2, this is 10, yeah, 52 divided by 2 is 26. Yeah, I, I know that these are half, this is 24, and I know that these are half and these are half, so could have just done that. Anyway. So she's eaten this amount that it's of. So I have 21. So each bowl is seven servings long. And when she's three sevenths the total amount, three sevenths is nine twenty ones. Each one is seven twenty ones, so she's two twenty ones of the way through. Oh, through the set. She's two twenty ones. That's seven over twenty-one. That's seven over twenty-one. That's seven over twenty-one. And then um, when she's in three sevens of the total amount, three seven nine twenty-one. So she's here. She's eaten nine. So this is nine twenty-one. What fraction in the second bowl? She in this amount, which is two twenty-ones. What? Have I done this wrong? Three sevenths is nine twenty ones. So basically, there's twenty one servings altogether. Each bowl has seven servings. She's had nine servings, which means she's had two servings out of, oh no, it's two sevenths. Oh, not two twenty ones. Each bit, ugh. Okay. Jokers always lie. P, Q, R, S. 
I think this is not actually how you do this, but Joker clown. Okay, P says that Q always lies. Okay, if P always, let's say this person is true. If this is true, that means this is true, which means this is a joker, which means this is always true, which is that true, that, that matches up, and that means, and this is also a lie. Okay. Clown, clown, joker, joker. Okay. When you cut a regular hexagon into two pieces with a single straight line, you get two polygons. You can definitely make a triangle. You can definitely make a quadrilateral. You can one, two, three, four, five. You can definitely make it a pentagon. Uh, how do you make a hat? Okay, if I cut this off, then now I've got one, two. Okay, you cannot make an octagon. Um, yeah, because at most you're getting rid of two and adding one. You can't get rid of three sides. Okay, we are actually kind of speeding, except for that one question which we're going to ignore. 40 faux fats are the same as 50. Okay, so we've got 40 furry equals 50 fit. We're using second letters. 45 fit equals 54 friendly. We want to know what 50 u equals how many r i mean okay if we just divide it by 5 8 u equals 10 i 4 u equals 5 i so 36 u equals 54 r um 36u 54r 50u um, square is six times the area of a rectangle with a length of half that of the square a width six meters uh, actually it's not x over two and x minus six that's the perimeter of the square uh, So x over 2 times x minus 6 equals 2 x squared over 6. So that's x squared minus 6x, and then we times both sides by 2, equals 2 x squared over 3, times it all by 3, 3x three squared minus 18x equals x squared. This feels wrong. 2x, oh no it doesn't, 2x squared equals 18 x x squared equals to 9 x equals to 3 the perimeter of the square is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 12 wait what wait what <laughs> the area is 6 times bigger than this 
This has a length half that of the square and a width six meters less. Okay, so this times this equals to this, so x squared, x over two. X, okay, so we times everything by two, so that becomes this, times this by three, equals this, add 18. Two x equals eighteen. Oh my god, maths. X is nine. Nine 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 nine. Thirty six. Maths. Oi. Uh, let's keep that. No, this is thirty six. So. Okay, twenty five minutes in. Almost done. Rovers United City want to play each other at least once. Each other once. This is the results. What's the score of the match between Rovers and United? Oh, this is fun. So Rovers won three. They drew two and lost one. They lost two. Rovers United City. Wanderers. These are all the. These are the connections. This is a win, win, win. Right, this is an Arctic. R R R. So you only lost to them, and they drew twice. W. Wanderers drew once and lost twice, so they lost this game. This okay, so Wanderers, Rovers, and United. Rovers won. We know that. Okay. Goals for goals against. So they won this game nil nil. So Wanderers United was nil nil then that means that in they had a draw and a loss they scored six they didn't score any of their goals okay so United City which was a draw was three three Oh, this is cool. This is cool. So they, so Rovers beat United 3 now. That, that's a cool question. I actually like that a lot. Okay, in a school, one fifth of students have blue eyes, one tenth of the left side of students have blue eyes, one quarter of the right side of students have blue eyes, one fraction. Let's go two way table, maybe. So right handed, left handed. Uh, yeah, let's imagine there's a hundred kids. Blue eyes. Blue. Not blue. Total. A hundred. So one fifth of the students have blue eyes. So total blue, that's twenty-five. Not blue is seventy-five. One tenth of the left-handed students. So of the left-handed students, one tenth of it, one quarter of the right-handed students have blue eyes. So this, okay, this is x, this is, so one-tenth of the left-handed students have blue eyes, x over 10, 9x over 10. One quarter of the right-handed students have blue eyes, 4, 4. What fraction of the students are left-handed? So left-handed, what? Oh, wait, 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 whoa, 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 one fifth have blue eyes.
Uh, can I just do y over 4 plus x over 10 equals to 20 and x plus y is 100. So if I sort this out, 5 times everything by 40, I've got 10y plus 4x equals to 80. Once again, simultaneous equation, not the way you meant to do this, I imagine, but whatevs. Oh, no, wait. Uh, so let's times this by 4. 4x plus 4y equals 400. So 6... Wait, what? I'll times it by 40. So 6y equals to 400. 400 divided by 6. Okay, let's try this again. One fifth of students have blue eyes, so that's 20 of them. One tenth of the left handed students, x over 10, have blue eyes. One quarter of the right handed students have blue eyes. What fraction of the students are left handed? Or well, no x. x plus y is 20, and that x plus y is 100. So if I times this by 40, I times this by 40, I get 10y. I times this by 40, I get 4x. I times this by 40, I get 100. I have this. I times this all by 4. 4x, 4y, thingy. 6y is 800. I guess it doesn't matter too much. Okay, I want to find x. Let's do this again. Because it's a fraction anyway. So it doesn't matter. And it can be a weird fraction. Yeah, it can be a weird fraction. Um, 10y plus 10x equals 1,000. So 6x equals 200. x equals 200 over 6. Now we want this out of 100. So what fraction? So if I divide both these by 100, that's 2 over 6. That's a third. Because what we wanted was x out of 100. So we want this out of 100 which is just, two, wow, my pen's bugging out. That's just two over six, which is a third. Okay, so I want 32 minutes. I'm actually flying, except for this one. What's the angle SQT? S, P, T, was Q, T. This is an isosceles. This, wait, a rhombus means all the lengths are the same. I'm such a doof. All the lengths are the same in a rhombus. So if that's 70, these two angles, this is also somehow an isosceles triangle. So 110 minus 70, no, 180, that's 110. And I divide it by two, that's 55. That's 40, that's 15. Oh, and we're done! Yes! We've actually speed ran. <laughs> okay. I actually, uh, wait, oh my god, I didn't do question 21. I just left it out. I just forgot about it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Um... Ratios, ratios, ratio, ratio, uh, no, A, 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 B, 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 B. Is the whole thing a square? No, it's a rectangle. B, C, C. Now, the whole thing, we've got C plus A equals to B. No, equals to 3b. And we've got 4a equals to c. So we've got 5a equals to 3b. So the so a is 3 fifths of b. So let's give some numbers. Let's do some numbers now. So Let's go for 3, 5, and let's go for 60. 
So A is 3 fifths of B. So if this is 60, this is 60, this is 60, and this is 60. Oh wait, I can do it already. I need, and this is 40, this is 4, 4, 4, 4, and this is 6. I've chosen a number that can divide, okay? Then the whole thing is 4 plus 4, 10, wait, the, the whole shape is 18 times 22. And we want to know just, we want 6 times 18 out of 18 times 22. So that's 3 out of 11. Is that an answer? Is that an answer? No. Oh, that's a shame. 4 plus 4 is 8. Oh, it's 3 fifths. <laughs> ah! It's 3 fifths, not 2 thirds. So 3, 3, 3, 3, 5, 5, 5, 5. So it's 5 times 15 out of 15 times. So the 15 is irrelevant. That's kind of interesting. 6. 12, 17, it's five over 17. That's a great question. That's an answer. And now I'm done. Come on. That's actually a good time. Now, I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna get the answers up. We're gonna check my answers. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, here are the answers. We're gonna go through the answers. So. One is C. Let's, let's mark with green pen, shall we? One is C. Two is B. Three is B. Four is A. Five is E. Six is E. Seven is D. Eight is C. We're flying. Nine is A. Ten is E. Eleven is B. Yes. Twelve is E. Thirteen is C. Fourteen is E. No silly mistakes. 15 is D, 16 is B, 17 is C, 18 is D, yes, yes, 19 is C, 20 is E, 21 is B, Twenty-two is D, 24 is B, and this is A, yes, okay, I'm excited because 35 minutes, 100% junior math challenge, admittedly, should be able to do it, but the speed. Woof. And absolutely bugged out at the word rhombus. Bugged out the word rhombus. I really, really, really liked the question 24. That was my fave. I love a logic puzzle. That was really, really cool. Really liked that. Um, Clearly did 25 super differently. How do I want to do it? Yeah, did like that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, sometimes equations, 21. Uh, more algebraically than I did, but not really. Um, oh, E, yeah, yeah. I drew a diagram. I knew this was a half. This was a nice estimation, that was fine. Divisor, yeah, that was fine, that was fine. This one, oh, test, I did test. That was cool. Okay, we're flying. Thanks for watching. A quick one, a one that's less than 100 minutes because I've actually managed to speed run a math challenge. Um, cool, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to. It's all, all fun maths. Um, you're welcome to try the paper yourself. Obviously I should have said that at the beginning because now trying yourself seems a bit rogue. Thanks for watching.